Before we get into our training video, if by chance you found this video as a recommended video on YouTube, this training video is actually part of an extensive Corel Draw for Beginners training series from AdvancedTShirts.com. We have developed dozens of videos and we also have available on our website downloadable work along files that you can work with in Corel Draw while you're working through the training videos. Easily the best and fastest way to learn. If these videos are helpful to you, please take a second to add a like to the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when we upload new video content. And of course, in the comment section below, you can post your questions or your Corel Draw video tutorial requests. In this training video, we're going to look at the Corel Draw workspace. This is a graphic design application, so everything in the workspace is set up to be able to work with graphic objects and graphic design in Corel Draw. The workspace starts at the top with the title bar, and there you can see the title of the document. Beneath that is the menu, like so many other software applications. Then there's the standard bar. Beneath that is the property bar. Now the property bar is dynamic. It will change based on the objects and tools you're working with or have selected in CorelDRAW. Here are the document tabs. Now with the document tabs, you can go back and forth between documents in CorelDRAW. You can also open or start a new document here with the plus sign or close a document if you hover over a document tab and click on the X in the right hand corner of the document tab. Here we have our rulers beneath that. They're on the top and also over to the left. Here I have a docker that I have set up custom in my workspace. That's the object properties docker. I like to have that so that I can work with it independently from the other dockers that are on the right hand side of the CorelDRAW workspace. Here we have the toolbox. The toolbox gives you access to many different tools that you'll be working with in CorelDRAW. And we'll cover a lot of these, but not all of them. Once again, this is for beginners. We don't want to get into everything. We just want to give you a foundation to get started with. Come down here to the bottom, and we have the document navigator. I can go back and forth in pages here, and we'll cover this also in another session. At the bottom, we have the status bar. Now the status bar is very important because it's going to give me information based on objects that I have selected. If I come over here and I select the bitmap, you'll see that that changed and it tells me or it gives me the information that this is a bitmap RGB color mode at 257 dpi. Here we have our scrollers, our horizontal and vertical scrollers here on the right side and the lower right in the bottom. Then we have our dockers over here. And we can go through our dockers here, open them, closing them, and working with the tools that are in the dockers. Next, we have our color palettes by default, and they're installed over here on the right hand side. Now, in CorelDRAW, we also have what we call right click contextual menus. And that is with a right mouse click. That will bring up a menu. Now these menus are also dynamic in that they will change based on what you click on. I just clicked on the page so I have options here relating to the page. I could create a symmetry, import, paste, etc. If I go to the bitmap and right click on that, I'll get a different right click contextual menu that has some tools and features I can get to relating to working with bitmaps. So these right-click contextual menus are kind of like shortcuts that enable you to get to things that you would normally go to the menu for or you might go to the menu for, but you can get to them through the right-click contextual menus. These menus also have flyouts. Wherever you see these little black triangle arrows, that indicates that there's a flyout menu. You can see I can send this object to the back or the front of the page through the flyout menu. The same flyout menus are also found in the toolbox. If I go to the shape tool, left click, hold down, I can get to other tools through that flyout menu. So these are the basics of the CorelDRAW workspace and how it's set up. Now by default, CorelDRAW 
is set up with the toolbars locked. So I want to go to the property bar, right click, I'll get a contextual menu for customizing my CorelDRAW workspace. And go to customize, change my button size, small, medium, large. But by default, let's take a look at this, lock toolbars. If we turn that off, you'll see a change. Now my toolbars have these little small gray dots next to them on their ends or their tops. And my cursor changes when I hover over them. So now I could left click, hold down and pull that properties bar out into my workspace or property bar. Now if I want to put it back, I just have to left click up here in the top by the title of the bar, bring it back and I can put it back into where it was originally. So I can move things around and customize my workspace if I unlock the toolbars. Now I can also go to Tools and Options. And here under Workspace, if you expand that, you'll see Appearance. And I can change the size of the CorelDRAW workspace here from 100 to 125 or 150 or make it smaller. I'll select OK and leave that for now. So we can see that we can work with this workspace. We can customize it, move things around, and do different things with it to set it up for the way we'd like to be able to work in the workspace. And I'm going to wrap here for this session. This is the fundamentals of the workspace, and then we're going to get into some other sessions relating to other aspects of the CorelDRAW workspace in the next sessions.